jib halyards, one spinnaker halyard. Ring for the pole. Nice fresh North Main. Motor mount. Local light. Should we pull the cover off the tilly? Spinnaker, double ratchet blocks. Yes, please. Double ratchet blocks for the spinnaker. Use this for the jib top. This is for the jib top twinger. This is the spinnaker sheet lock. This is jib sheet jib winch, jib sheet lock, jib lead. Three stoppers on this side, four stoppers on that side. In haulers. Six, ma six masthead displays of NKE. And you can see the Cunningham hanging down there. Cunningham leads to there. And then we take that long orange one back to the back to the hatchway for when you're racing. You can see the uh, out haul hanging here. It kind of hangs in the hatch when you're racing. Bang, nice powerful bang. Pre-feeder, see how rigging. Here's the shroud chain plates. This is for a single point haul, single point lift. This is for, this is the kelp cutter. Kelp cutter like this sails in the way right now but yeah I'm just getting these uh wind tunnels up addition of the main here's the bow spread it launches with this line and uh goes out goes out flush this goes all the way to the end of the deck there the end of the cover so it goes out all the way LED lights, tack fitting, head foil, pre-feeder, two, two tack lines. When we're racing offshore, we sometimes put a second tack line in and use, the, use our fractional kite to peel. Hang on, it's hung up on the... Uh, This is why I was just so interested in the boat. No water comes in, it's a super dry boat. Not like all other bowsprit boats where it runs in the bowsprit. Looking down the hatch, we replaced the hatch when we did the refit. Here's the four peak. I'll show you that later. There's inside there, all the way up forward. The little stain there is from leaving a wet spinnaker on it sometimes. Some instrumentation. It has only a uh, knot meter, not a depth sounder. There's the head that I installed. No holding tank. You can see back into the... You can also see the, uh, the mast ram there, the mast jack for changing shims. Show you more of that. And the storage area on the port. I have a solar panel charger. I know that's not the best position, but we leave it there for, that way we just leave it on when we're racing. It's always getting a little trickle.
This is, uh, here's the tiller and the cockpit. One side of the cockpit, cup holder, winch holder, sheet bag, Richie compass. We replaced this. This is new. Almost haven't used it. What do you need it for? Tiller. Tiller extension. New Jeffa bearing. New Jeffa rudder bearing there. <clears throat> this thing goes like this if you want. Nice thing is this spins all the way around. So if you need to back the boat up with kelp or something, you can turn that, turn the rudder all the way around and it acts real nice, doesn't try to jerk out of your hand. Pad eye for lifeline, pad eye for lifelines. Shore power. Shore power only only powers a Shore power only powers a uh, an outlet, a 110 outlet in there that we use for a dehumidifier that we run the whole time. Here's the backstay and traveler. Traveler, backstay, backstay, cascade, it's the back end of the boom, main sheet. Here's uh, something we just put in. I just put this in um, a separate, when we went to outboard, we put in a separate outboard uh, gas, con gas compartment here. And it's all sealed from the boat so no gas fumes can get in. Just feed the uh, gas line out and hook it on the engine right there. And then that's all you got showing. Very super clean while the outboard's running. port lights into the bunks, into the quarter berths. There's the bilge pump outlet. Bilge pump. NKE cockpit display. And remote. Inside the boat, chart table, there's a VHF radio built in there. We use this GPS, which ties into the NKEs. There's the NKE, um, what is it called, Wi-Fi thing. Lights, all the lights work. They're all LED, except the masthead Windex light is and I couldn't find an LED bulb for that. Inside of the chart table, this is for the, uh, changing the mast, uh, changing the shim in the mast, under the mast for when it gets windier. Put it in like this, pump it up. There's the uh, hydraulic pump. Pump it up. And then you just pull the shim out and stick in another one or whatever you want to do. Here's the four peak again. This is in here to, for racing to keep the chute from falling through, getting hung up on something. It works great. I'll show you the V berth in a minute. The panels just lie on there. Going all the way into the four, uh, all the way to the inside of the stem here. G10 backing plate, new wiring, all new wiring by the way, all new everything, electrical. There's our little head, little uh, plastic mirror, vents, head. turn it off, 
unplug it. Sink, no water supply. Put it in there just to drain the dehu. It's handy to have. Here is uh, the through hole for the sink. I also prepared for a through hole here, which would have been a better place. Here's my gimbal stove. I'd like to hang on to this element. You tell me. Here, this is the uh, spinnaker pole that came with the boat. We extended it to the max for the PHRF max. For uh, it goes with the jib top for going downwind. This is our uh, kelp kelp stick. I'm going to keep that. Here's uh, these beautiful. This is you know like this signature Schumacher thing is these picnic bench settees, and they're really good because. They're really good because you keep stuff in there and it dries out. Doesn't get wet, doesn't get moldy. Here's wiring, some NKE stuff. Here's the uh, cooler. Cooler slash step. Hold on with these little, these webbing hold downs. The other side, it's all our stuff in there, nice and neat and dry. Here's a quarter berth number one, or this is the starboard quarter berth, port quarter berth. And there's also these handy shelves back here behind the settees. You can see it's a cold molded boat. The hull is cold molded with like three quarter inch foam outside of that and then carbon outside of that and glass on the inside as well. <clears throat> this is where the engine used to be, the inboard used to be. I moved this panel in so that you don't turn the switches off when you get out of the bunk accidentally. Battery, wiring, and instruments. That's a uh, that's a charge controller for the uh, solar panel. There's NKE stuff. Here's the outboard. Mercury five horse with a six horse uh, carburetor, long shaft, and it just clips onto these these things. These ratchet strap, the one ratchet strap holds it in super tight and not, can't go anywhere. That's the uh, shore power breaker. That's where the shore power comes in. That's the gas tank compartment. This is the battery status indicator. You can see the panel, master switch. And by the way, this is where the outboard used to be. This is G10, glassed in at both ends. This is, uh, under it is solid glass. You know, there's a hole like this, solid glass, all chamfered in. Here's our large north jib. Hmm. No date. Here's our heavy almond jib. Twenty eighteen heavy almond jib. That's that dark gray material. 
here's the quarter berth. It's real, real minimal, but comfortable. And it's easy to take out. You just pop that back end out, put it over there, slide it. If you want to slide it out, you can slide the whole thing out of the track aft. Nice and clean here. You want to do it that way. Here's the port quarter berth. Her sail is a north. Oh, why doesn't have a date? Anyway, this is our purple and black two-way in here. It's got yellow corners. It's brand new. It has two races on it. Here's our Ullman jib top. 2019 Ullman jib top. He calls it a harbor blaster. But it's a useful, it's a useful offshore sail. It's quite a wind range as well. Now here's a sail that came with the boat. The only, the only one I still have. This is a 3A or A3 from I don't know. I don't know when this is from, but it's not a, it came with a boat, so it's not a new sail, but it's still stiff. We use it when it gets windy. We've had some great sails with it, and we had uh, one in 28 knots of breeze. It was a good fit for the boat, playing in like crazy, and uh, you know, on the edge, but not out of control. Here's our Another North two-way. This is uh, a red one that you see in photos. It's good. It's it's a couple years old, but we use it for everything. That we use it for everything, even lesser races. Here's our our Code Zero, 2017 Code Zero from Alma Sales. It's a great sale too for, uh, you know, 110 true, 110 true. This, this quarter berth, take it out like that. There's the bilge pump. It's new, it was re well replaced in the, when my rebuild. There's the mercury long shaft, six horse. Looking back in the back of the boat. That's the uh, stern light. That's the backing for the traveler and the <clears throat> backstay. Looking back here, the rudder post sealed. Back there, that's the uh, G10 backing plate for the uh, outboard mount. You can see the backing plate for the traveler and for the backstay further back and the hole where the exhaust outlet used to be. That's the MKE compass. These support lights give a lot of light into these little quarter bursts. They're, they're nice.